That government was doing what the United States leaders will not tolerate anywhere. They will not tolerate any government in the world that is attempting an alternative system outside of the globalization process, outside of that system of <clears throat> U.S. multinational, transnational, global finance capitalism. Outside, even another capitalist country that's trying economic nationalism and developing itself on its own terms, even that will no longer be tolerated. That was tolerated when there was a Soviet Union, that was tolerated. When there was a Soviet Union, Yugoslavia was tolerated. It was a, a country that was a buffer against the Soviets. It was independent of the Soviets, often critical of them, but it also was socialist. With the overthrow of the Soviet Union, the ruling interests in Western capitalism have come to certain realizations. We don't have to make any kind of social contract with our own working class anymore. We don't have to turn to you and say, you see how much better you live than the people over in Russia? We don't have to say that anymore. We won. We're rolling back in Russia. In fact, after the, after the overthrow of the Soviet Union, there was a very querulous note that began to appear in many right-wing publications. It went as follows. If now in the former communist countries we're having total free market deregulation and takeover and privatization, why must we still tolerate here in our own countries, why must we still tolerate social programs and public ownership and regulation and, and the like? We don't have to tolerate that anymore. And you workers, you can forget about lifelong seniority or job security, whatever else. You've got nowhere else to go. You can go turn any color you want, red, pink, whatever else, but there's no Soviet menace anymore there. You don't have a base. You don't have a global base anymore. And they could turn to the third world countries that they were giving aid to and saying, we're going to build you up and build a prosperous middle class and make you a little bit more like Western Europe or North America so that you will not be tempted to go communist, and which means go socialist. We want to keep you capitalist, but a kind of a capitalism with a, a human face. Well, capitalism with a human face is now capitalism in your face. And they don't have to do that anymore.